Hi everyone, my name's Colleen and I was actually challenged to make a video and talk about my Monate story. So here it goes and um, bear with me, I'm not the greatest on camera and um, actually this is kind of crazy just looking at myself here as I'm talking. But anyhow, I just wanted to share some things with you. I wanted to just tell you a little bit about me and my family and um, my journey that's brought me to where I am today with my Nate. Um, like I said, my name's Colleen. I'm actually a mother of four children, 11-year-old, um, 9-year-old, almost 5-year-old, and almost 2-year-old. Um, I'm an occupational therapist. I work part-time, and my husband, uh, we've been married 15 years, is a police officer, and um, we actually work opposite schedules right now, and that's the way it works for our family. So, you know, we're blessed that one of us is home with the kids, but the downside is we're not usually home together. And it makes it a little bit hard when it's one of us against four kids. Um, but we've been making it work. Um, but I'd say maybe a, a couple years ago, we just started um, trying to think of other ways to make extra money, I always had the option of maybe working a little bit more, but, um, you know, working more hours, but then of course, then I wouldn't be home with the kids. We'd have to worry about daycare. There's more expenses and it just didn't seem like, you know, the right thing for us at the time. Um, we started struggling financially. Um, things were getting tight. I've been in the past couple of years, and most really this last year, um, I work PRN. Um, like I said, I'm an occupational therapist. Nice thing about being PRN is I make my own schedule and, um, you know, I'm able to be home with the kids, but I'm also subject to being canceled from work too when our caseload drops or whatever. Um, so in the last couple of years, I really have seen my hours cut a lot. Um, and when I'm not working, I don't get paid. <laughs> And um, actually, when we just did our taxes this year, when I saw my W-2s, I mean, I knew I was getting cut hours, but when I actually saw it on paper, it was pretty much like I um, made half of what I made the year before. So no wonder we were struggling. Um, anyhow, I guess like most people, we, or a lot of people really, um, we've been living pretty much paycheck to paycheck, you know. We do get paid, um, and we try to do things that we can with the kids. And um, But unfortunately, things have gotten tight. Our savings, we don't really have much of a savings. And um, <sighs> not exactly where we want to be. Um, we didn't have a plan B. We've just been going, you know, day by day, putting it in the Lord's hands. And um, we've been surviving. We've been okay. But when we sit down and think about the future, are we really going to do this forever? Can I see myself doing what I do forever? Do I want my husband to be doing what he's doing forever? He's a police officer. I want him to retire tomorrow. I I anything we could do to get him home. And, it, you know, a year ago, we had no clue what we'd be doing. Um, it was looking like I'd be working forever. He, you know, is eligible to retire in five years from the state. But financially, you know, we have a house, we have kids, we have kids that we'd have to put through college. <clears throat> There's no way he could retire. Um so that got me, you know, thinking about other options and an opportunity actually fell into my lap about a year ago. And I was, as the first time I was introduced to this industry of network marketing and, um, I was open to it at the time and I thought I'd found the company for me. Um, I really liked the product. Um, and I hit the ground running, but unfortunately, it was like something was missing. Um, I was finding customers. I was finding people to join my team, but it wasn't sticking. And I just felt like there was something missing. There was, I didn't know what it was. Was I doing something wrong? Just something didn't, wasn't right. Um, to the point where 
I actually had a breakdown one night and my husband, um, he works late, um, and would get up very early. So he went to bed early one night and, um, I had a little bit of a breakdown. I was having a mental breakdown and just stressing about money and worrying about, you know, where are we getting money to pay our bills the next month? And just, you know, I always put things in God's hand and somehow it always works out every month. But the stress, <laughs> um, sometimes I, I it just really overwhelms me. And um, my parents actually live with us. We have an in-law side to our house. And I went over there. It was late at night. My kids were in bed. My husband was already asleep. And <laughs> I was talking to my parents, crying. And I said, I... I just need something. I need something to change. I I don't know what it is. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought this is where God was leading me, but something just isn't, something just does not feel like it's complete. I don't know what it is. And my mom said, let's pray. You know, there's three of us here, your mom, dad, and, you know, and of course me, let's pray about it. And my mom said a prayer to, um, God to just help me in whatever it is that that's going on and help me to find where I'm supposed to be and to guide me and just to help me figure out what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. I went to bed that night um, and actually before I went to bed, this is the really neat part, I got a message, a text message from a friend that asked me if I've heard of this company. And I said, um, you know, no, I hadn't heard of it. And the company was Monate. And I um, went to bed. I slept on, you know, and was thinking about the prayer that we had prayed with my family. And I woke up feeling better. And I thought, you know, this is in God's hand. My life is in God's hands. And um, he always finds a way. And it, it'll work out however it needs to work out. Um, I got kids ready for school. I was taking my oldest daughter to co-op because I homeschool her and, uh, on my way there, um, I got another text message from my friend who said she needed to talk to me, um, about this company. So I got to, to co-op and I, um, made a phone call and this is when I was introduced to Monique. When I heard about it and everything that had happened the night before, I knew, I said, this this has got God written all over it. I heard about what the company was. They were under a year old. Um, the opportunity there was, the products, just everything. Just I was like, I've got hair issues. Um, sign me up. <laughs> and this is the really crazy thing. I spoke to my husband and I said, you know, what should I do? This is actually before I signed up, but I said, what should I do? And he said, go for it. He did not know that I had the breakdown the night before um, because he had already been in bed and he wakes up at 3.30 in the morning to go to work. So he didn't even know about me breaking down, me praying with my parents, me trying to figure out what it is I'm supposed to be doing. He, he had no idea about any of it. And he told me when I was on the phone talking to him, he said, Colleen, he said, I don't know what it is, he said, but for some reason this morning when I left for work, he said, I felt God tell me that I needed to stop and pray for you. And he stood in the driveway, you know, it was pitch black, and he said a prayer for me. And he said, um, you know, for God to help guide me and whatever it is I'm supposed to be doing. And, and he... <laughs> It's giving me goosebumps telling it again. He he didn't know anything that had transpired that night. I burst into tears and I said, this is it. You know, um, I'm going to go for this and see where it takes us. And I'm here to tell you that this company, Monique, and being introduced to the opportunity has been the biggest blessing in, in our lives. The more I jumped into, I jumped in not even really even knowing what I was jumping into, but I felt like God was leading me here. And um, I hadn't even tried the products yet, <laughs> but I tried. Uh, um, 
I, I got my samples. I got um, full-size products and everything, and I hit the ground running. And I'm just here to tell you that if you're looking for something, um, if you're looking for a change, if you're tired of the, the daily stress, the, the worries, whatever your headache is, if you want to be able to spend more time with your kids, if you want to have more money to be able to do the things with your kids, it, and it's not really even in the money, it's what the money can do for you. I, I can't foresee myself doing the job that I'm doing forever. Healthcare fields become a rat race. There's so much pressure. It's all about money. I don't, I can't see myself doing that for another five, 10 years. I, that's just not where I want to be. I'm missing out. You know, I want to be home with my kids. I want to be traveling. I want to be able to homeschool them. And here's the big thing. I want to bring my husband home. I don't, if I could, I want him to retire tomorrow. Um, but that's like my biggest goal is to get him out of police work. I don't want him to have to do this forever. We have a, you know, a, a mortgage payment and everything. And a year ago, I would say he's going to have to work forever. But our life has totally changed. This company has totally changed the way we can think again. Like, I always thought dreams were dreams, but. Dreams can come true. You know, this is work for me, but I'm really, I, I'm enjoying it. Um, it, I've learned so much about myself. It's something that, I mean, I've always been a people person. And I think that's why I went into the field that I'm in because I like to help others. And I think this is a whole nother opportunity to help other people. And I am loving this journey um, reaching out to people, I feel like I have a gift, like I have something to share with people, you know, if, if they're open to receiving it. And besides the products being amazing, you know, if you have hair issues, if, if you don't have hair issues and you have healthy hair and you want to keep your healthy hair, these products are for you. They're botanically based. People are looking for things that are natural, that, um, are going to do the things that they say it you know it nourishes your hair it um, gets to the root of problems it actually is designed to get into your scalp and your follicles and clean things and make your hair the healthiest it can be um, the products speak for themselves it um, if you don't have hair if you want to grow hair my husband's growing hair he's my guinea pig <laughs> um, He's using the products. My whole family is using the products. And there's just so many exciting things going on with the company right now. It's just amazing. We are only, I believe, 18 months old. Um, the opportunity, it's a ground floor opportunity. And it's the total package. It's the products. It's the company. It's where we're going. It's the people. It's the family behind this company. They're a debt-free company. The family, the Erdinetta family, um, the company is based out of Miami, Florida. The Erdinetta family owns the uh, manufacturing facility, um, FDA-approved manu um, F um, manufacturing facility, distribution center, the labs. Um, so there's no um, investors involved. It's a debt-free company owned by a family who is a good... <laughs> Good morally standing family. I went to their convention this last January. I met people um, who I've never met before, but we all feel like one big family. Um, my my upline I met from different states, from Georgia, from Florida, from Illinois. Just good Christian people that I connected with right away, and I just my heart is just just filled with love and joy. Like I just feel like. This is where I'm meant to be, and I'm just so excited about the future. Things look so different than they did a year ago. Um, my life has changed already in five short months. I've been able to touch so many lives already. I've got people under me. Um, I'm so excited to see where things are going to go for them and to help them change their lives. I walk around, and I see people, and I think, who can I touch today? Who can I share this gift with? It's just, 
it's just been an amazing journey um, and it's changed our life. It's changed our whole outlook on things. My kids, um, we can dream again. There's so many things that I want to accomplish. I want to do with them. I want to, we want to do mission work. We want to give back. Um, and this is going to give us the means to be able to do it. This company, Monate. And um, I just wanted to thank you for your time. And I just realized I've been talking for 15 minutes. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> thanks for listening to me. And I'm so sorry this was so long. And I'm sorry if I rambled everywhere. But I'm just so excited. And if this video speaks to you at all, if there's anything that you want to to know if there's something you're not happy with in your life, I just want you to know that there is an opportunity out here. You, you are, you're in charge of your own destiny. It's up to you. Like, um, you don't have to stay where you are. You don't have to be unhappy. Um, there's just so much more out there. And if I can help you, um, I would love to thank you for listening to me. And, um, God bless you. Thanks. Bye.